Hey everybody, we're actually traveling. We are coming back from Pagosa Springs. We went up for a couple of days, really a short trip, spur of the moment. Wanted to get the Leisure Travel Van out and just feel the crisp, cool Colorado air to get away from that Dallas heat. And so we really had a great time. But I wanna talk about the three things that we did wrong on this short little trip that could have been disastrous, but actually turned out all right. The very first thing that we did we locked ourselves out of the coach. Fortunately, the dogs were out with us. We didn't lock them in, uh, but boy, that could have been a disaster. Now, how did I do that? Well, I got the option with my leisure travel van where you can lock and unlock the, this back door or the house door with your uh, key fob. And so that stopped working. Somehow, what we do every night, we when we we'll get ready for bed, we lock the doors with the key fob. It locks these two doors to the cab and also that door. And so something happened where that door didn't lock last night or it locked. I don't know how it, whatever happened, it broke. We went out it with the dogs were out. We went outside, shut the door and it was locked. And these two doors were still locked as well. Completely locked ourselves out of the coach with the keys inside. Fortunately, because we were in Colorado with that 58 degree evening, we had the skylight open and for the, for the fresh air. Um, and I did not get the ladder. So if you watch my video on the, the, the top options or the best options for a leisure travel van, I'll link that right there. Um, you'll see that I did not get the ladder and regret it. And I really regretted it then because I had to find a way to get on top of the coach and fortunately, my neighbor uh, at the campsite there, he had a big Tiffin motor coach and he had a nice ladder. I got up on top of the roof and was able to fish the keys out of uh, the thing and unlock the coach. So not terrible. We were only locked out for about 20 minutes. So anyway, that can happen. So carry your keys with us. One solution that we're going to do is I'm going to get one of those house lock boxes put a spare uh, house key in it, and then put it in one of our bays that we don't lock. So I've got two bays that I don't lock. I never walk my, my wet bay, and there is a bay right by the door that has all of our dog leashes and that kind of stuff that I don't think anybody would care and that uh, to steal, so I keep that unlocked for ease, so I can grab those leashes quick. So we're gonna put a lock box in there with a, key, with a spare house key. The second thing we did, Speaking of neighbor next door at our RV park, obviously a uh, friendly guy. So we struck up a conversation. The only problem was I struck a up a conversation with him while I was filling up my fresh water tank. So I hooked up my fresh water tank, put it to fill, and then started carrying a conversation for 10, 15 minutes. Guess what? It doesn't take 10 or 15 minutes to fill up that fresh water tank. So obviously when water started gushing out all over the ground, I figured out what I did. And so that is not that huge of a deal. Now, if you were cleaning out your black tank with that and you forget and that overflows, guess where that overflows? That overflows through your toilet. And that would be a horrible thing. So tip number two, do not carry a conversation or get distracted when you're either setting up your coach tearing down your coach or just doing simple tasks like filling up tanks or cleaning out tanks. That could be a disastrous if it's your black tank. Now, number three thing we did wrong. We did not make reservations coming back. So we're on 287. I wanted to uh, stop in Amarillo for the night. Um, and so that morning or yesterday morning, as it turns out, I got on all of the, my RV trip wizard, started looking for RV parks, and there was nothing available. They were all full around Amarillo. And so I started looking around the small towns. Well, I found one about 30 miles south of Amarillo in Hereford, Texas. It didn't have any pictures. It didn't have any reviews. It didn't have anything. I called, they did have a spot available with electric. And that's the only thing I really cared about was electric because it was hot and needed the air conditioning. So we get there and it is beyond bad. I mean, a nice people, but man, not maintained at all. In fact, the site was about at a 20 degree angle, impossible to level. So I took it hooked up the power and it blew the breaker. Flipped it, blew it again. 
at the post. Well, that was the 30 amp. So I got the my 50 amp dog bone, plugged in the 50 amp, and guess what? It blew the breaker in the coach. Something was very bad with that power. I, I have a little tester. I tested it, said it was fine as far as it didn't test voltage or anything like that. It just says, you know, tests if it's clean power, not reverse polarity and that different things like that. Said it was fine. Obviously something was really bad. So we weren't gonna be we weren't gonna stay there and already paid, no big deal. Packed everything back up and off we went and I serendipitously found a fantastic RV park um, that was about 20 miles away. It was on a on a, 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 a ranch. It was absolutely beautiful, well maintained, perfect power, a little dog park, fantastic evening. So and that was about nine o'clock at night. Fortunately I found one. So tip number three you've got to make a reservation this was a friday night so on the weekends for sure make reservations the days when you can just travel and pull into an rv park those days are gone i do believe and so you know plan accordingly and but it was an adventurous night and uh, we were able to get a good night's sleep anyway and so now we're about uh, halfway back between amarillo and dallas but Anyway, that's it for this week. If this is your first time on the channel, you like leisure travel vans, you like gear, gadget, and RV, be sure you subscribe. Also hit that like button, really helps the algorithm as we grow the channel. I appreciate all of you watching, and we will see you next week.